Hi. Hello. It's me, the Grandma Quilter. And this is in Quilt Fact, where the imperfect becomes perfectly loved. Oh my God, I gotta stop doing this already. Enough. How y'all doing? If you hear some in the background, it's my neighbor who just arrived, of course, when I'm about to start. Uh, anyways, how y'all been? I've been good. I mean, I haven't been good, but I've been good. But I haven't been good. But I've been good. It's health. People, you all know this. We all suffer through this. But, you know, I have to have it. I have to. I'm filming this at night and I need it. Oh, that's just so freaking good. Well, you know that today is Tuesday, news day. We talk about everything in the news. One thing I just want to say right up front, we need to support Donna from Handmade by Ying with Donna. She is having some family issues and we all know her granddaughter Harper is in the hospital. She had a heart transplant. And she's doing good, but we need to continue to pray for her. So another thing that we can do as a community of quilters and friends is to support her channel. Go watch old episodes. Go give likes. Just keep her channel alive until she can get back. She is. She just got back from Florida from being with one granddaughter. She has to go into, um, what do they call this? Whatever they call it. A couple of days uh, to prevent COVID so then she can go visit uh, Harper over there. So let's keep her channel alive. Okay. Just watch the videos. Just go watch them again. Just give her those watch hours. She really needs them. We need to support our community. We need to support each other. I mean, that's all we can do. The best we can do. Prayers for Harper. Prayers for Donna and all of her family uh, on both sides. And just, just give her all the support she can get. Okay. Don't forget that. that that's priority number one today you know this is tuesday news day so what's in my news well i'm working on my stash ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. i'll show you later what i've been doing in here but you know like all of us when when we're doing stuff i have my chat but sometimes i need to block out noise and then watch but not the same thing like sometimes i need a filter and not watch quilting quilting per se so i was watching some stuff this morning while i started working on getting my my stash a little bit better organized and i was watching this creator and she was talking about us creators on youtube and she was telling her story which was extremely interesting i'll link her video have that uh, link it in the in the in the description below she was talking about what creators like myself and others who are trying to create a living at the same time we do something we enjoy. What does the algorithm, what does the YouTube algorithm do and all that kind of stuff. It was a very interesting, very interesting in the way that she was talking about it. But it made me think. You all know, I tell you the story constantly of why I started this. It grew more than I had anticipated quickly, but we all know why it grew. And it was because of that one video. That one video that took it from about 200 to 2000. That it jumped my subscriber list in a minute. And it was because of that singular video. Other videos have done well, but you know, I look at the analytics, but it's like she was saying, you know, you have to know what you're doing. You have to know what is your target audience. You have to know what your target project is. Me, it's like I keep telling y'all, there's nothing scripted. I'm not reading off a prompter. I'm not reading off paper. I'm not memorizing lines. This is me right off the cuff. This is me, you know, just letting it go, just talking to y'all. So it's more like a blog or a podcast basically is what i do and my do my two lives and lives it's just interacting with everybody which is the part that i enjoy the most i love my lives i i totally and completely enjoy my lives 
those for me are the best part of this whole thing. Going live, chatting with everybody, getting to know people. I love it. And now with my renegades, we have our Zoom calls, we talk, we chat, we goof around, we laugh. We create lasting friendships, which is what I wanted. From all of this, what I was looking for was genuine friendships. And a lot of you might be laughing, ha ha ha, you're going to make friendships out of people you don't know. You know something? Yes. Yes. Because one thing I have noticed, there's a lot of lonely people out here. I was one of them. I was very lonely. I didn't know how lonely I was until I started this channel. Because you can be lonely in a group of people. And I hope you understand that. I was lonely. I mean, I have the most amazing family a, a, a mom could ever ask for. I have three amazing children who love me truly, and I adore them. I have three, um, a son-in-law and two daughters-in-law whom I love dearly. Yes, even my son-in-law. He's getting better. Um, and my daughters-in-law who I will go to the mat for them. I will throw myself in front of a bus for them. These are two amazing women that I adore. I absolutely adore them. My sons don't deserve the wives they have. I mean that with all my heart and soul. I have 10 grandchildren who are my life. They are my life and soul. So, but I still felt lonely. I didn't have people in my community of quilters and creators and stuff like that to talk to. So I would talk to with, you know, I became a mama because I'm grandma and mama Debbie over there from my daughter's friends who I love very much. There's a couple of them who are very sweet, very kind. They're good to my daughter and anybody who's good to my kids, you got it in my book. When you're bad to my kids, bye. But it wasn't mine. It wasn't what I love. It Nobody understood me. And I've talked about this before. Nobody understood what I do. Nobody understood my love a fabric, my love of, of picking up a piece of fabric and looking at it and touching it and thinking of all the things I can do with it and playing with it. Because, you know, this I love to do. I just like to take it apart and fold it up. That for me is my therapy. <laughs> One of my fabulous peeps told me today, hey, why don't you uh, take those tutorials that teach you how to fold fabric and, and make it really organized and pretty no, <laughs> I like folding it my way because my thing is this, this, this fondling. This is what I fondle. <laughs> this is what I fondle. I fondle my fabric. I enjoy touching my fabric. I enjoy looking at it and imagining all the things I can do with it. And that's my therapy. That's, but I needed people that I could, that could understand that. Other people that understand my love and passion for fabric. Other people that can love and understand and understand where I'm coming from when I get an idea in my head. People that I can understand how I want to combine colors, which I'm still learning how to do. People that can understand my love of a block and, and how to make a quilt and then just make the messes that I make because I make mistakes and I will continue to. That's hence the name in quilt fact, imperfect but it's mine. A friend of mine today was telling me about a person that was teaching her how to quilt many, many years ago and started telling her that her color choices were off. Uh, started telling her that she had to do things a specific and a, and a precise way. Started telling her that the work she was doing was no good. And all I could see in what she was telling me was that person was looking at their own insecurities through her. They saw that this person was extremely talented, was extremely talented quilter and, and sewer, and they were envious. And trying to tell them they were doing something wrong instead of teaching them different ways of doing something. That's being creative. Look, my color schemes, you're going to see, I'm going to show you in a minute, the variety of color that I have, but my favorite colors, autumn colors, fall, cool colors, not cold, cool colors. I love oranges and browns and greens and gold and dark, deep reds. That's, that's my color scheme. Do I make only things in my color scheme? No. Do I enjoy doing things in my color scheme? Yep. 
Am I going to change because somebody tells me they don't like it? No. Nope. No. Nope. Because that's my choice. Today I was watching Becca. Um, I'm filming this Monday night. I was watching Becca. She she was filling in for, for Donna. And she was showing how she was uh, putting a uh, binding on a quilt. The method that she used, I've done it. I've used that one. I've done two or three different types of methods. Looking for one that's comfortable for me. Mine's is very similar to hers. Just a, a little tweak different. But again, that's her preference, and I have mine. She showed that sometimes when you turn it around, the stitch is not where it's supposed to go, and she doesn't care. Of course not. It's ours. Now, I said this many times, when you're doing a quilt for a show, when you're doing a quilt for a quilt show, that's different. That's art. That is art. I'm not an artist. I'm a quilter. I'm a grandma, and I like to talk. That's it. That's what I do. So I come on here and I talk to other quilters that get frustrated with the quilt police and the perfectionists. But we have a nice small community of quilters that are not afraid of making a mistake when they're sewing. I, I don't think I've sewn once since I've gotten this channel. I think maybe you've seen me do it once or twice. Because again, I'm not here to do tutorials. I'm not here to show you how to quilt because I don't know. I'm learning myself. <laughs> I'm still learning. I have a creative mind. Yeah. I'm starting to understand that I have a really creative mind. Yeah. Because I learn through everybody I watch on YouTube. I learn. I learn with everybody that has been on this channel. All of my, my renegades, all of my subscribers, people that comment, teach me different techniques. People that I watch teach me different techniques. I've learned techniques from Becca, from Tiffany, from Ian, from Stephanie. My God, from the Awkward Quilter, from, um, oh my God, so many, just so many people that I watch. I've learned from each one of you, from Donna, from Donnell. Donnell's teaching me how to do the legit kits, which still, I, I cannot believe I've done it. I've done even one panel. I can't believe it. But Donnell's teaching me how to use it. So I'm learning how to paper piece. These things I would never have tried. And I have tried a couple before coming on here. And I'm doing them now. Am I making mistakes? Uh, yeah. You make mistakes. Of course we make mistakes. Why not? That's how you learn. When you were a baby, you learned how to walk by falling down. Didn't you? Nobody was born walking. Nobody came out of their mama's womb walking in a straight line. No, you learn by falling down and getting up and falling down and getting up. How did you learn as a baby to turn over in the bed? By trying and getting stuck and coming back and trying again and getting stuck and coming back. We learn by trial and error. And that's how we learn to quilt. We learn by trial and error. Now, a lot of us do different things and have better talents in one area than in the other. I, I like to think of myself as comic relief for quilters. But also I like to think of myself as somebody you can come and talk to. I mean, again, the community of quilters that have opened their arms to me, that have embraced me, that, that have given me the love that I've needed, the friendship that I've desired my whole life, not just now, I'm not gonna cry, I'm behaving. All of these people have, have just open their hearts to me. And it's it's the most amazing thing I felt in years. As an HR manager, I learned how to sit down and listen to people talk. Part of my job. I learned how to investigate. I learned how to how to read people. I can read people fairly well. I know when they're lying to me. My kids can tell you that. So can my grandkids. I know when people are false. I know when people give me a smile here, but it's not here. But even texting, I've been able to see genuine human beings coming through and giving me love. And I'm able to give them love in return. Friendship, true, genuine, genuine friendship. Nah, not the fake crap. Genuine friendship. People that I know that right now, if I were to call them and say, I need you, 
they would come. And we've only known each other four months. But I can say that. And I can say it genuinely because I know it's true. Because, I, again, I know when someone is sincere. I know when someone doesn't like me. Believe me. <laughs> I know when people don't like me. I know there's a lot of creators out there that don't like me. You know what? Sorry. Not sorry. I am who I am. I am not a piece of bread. I'm not a $20 bill for everybody to want me. I never will be. And I never was. But I am me. I will always tell the truth. And I am blunt. I grew up up north. I'm very blunt. Straight up. Doesn't mean... I can't be hurt. Doesn't mean there are people that have hurt my feelings. It doesn't mean that I haven't been a little bit devastated with some of the stuff that I've had to be a part, you know, be, no, I'm not a victim. I have had a couple of attacks and that's fine. It's a part of the process. I can deal with that. Doesn't matter. It hurts. It hurts. Doesn't mean it's going to stop me. <laughs> There's no stopping this train. I said it and I will continue to say it. The day this turns into a job is the day I say bye-bye. But it's not going to be a job because this is, this is my release. This is where I come to. Because these Tuesdays that are pre-recorded, all I do is talk. You haven't seen me so. I sandwich, I sandwich the cup quilt. It's got it right there. You're going to see it. I've got the, the purple quilt. I just wasn't able to do it today, but I got the purple quilt ready. And it's right there, right behind me. Look, it's right there waiting for me. And then, hold on, I'm going to show you the cup quilt. Ah, look what I got. This is the backing. Look at the kitty cats. And they cute. Look, 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 look. And they're pretty. And this is the cup coat that's in here. Watch. Just for those that say, ah, oh, she's bull. Yeah. See? It's in here. Look. Oh, Lord. I don't want to mess it up because I haven't pinned it. See? It's all sandwiched up because I said I was going to have sandwiches. The only thing I haven't been able to sandwich again because I need help and my daughter's sick today is the, the, um, the baby quilt that's ready to be sandwiched, but I haven't sandwiched that yet. But this one's ready to go. This one is ready to go. It's back here on the wall. So, yeah, I, I sew. I just, I don't need to sew to show anybody that I sew. I don't need to prove that I'm a quilter because <laughs> I've never said that I'm going to teach you. I've never said that I'm going to teach you any new technique because I'm a learner. I am an apprentice. I just come here for those other lonely souls just like me to know that they have in me a friend. That they can come. They can call me. They can go on our Facebook page and send me a message. And if I'm not a little bit overwhelmed, uh, I'll get on the phone with them. Ask Donnell. <laughs> Ask Donnell. Donnell and I talk. I'm trying to leave her alone. Uh, but she, I adopted her as my daughter already. So she's my daughter. And it's like, Jean is my sister. Giovanna, I, oh, my Italian buddy. She's my sister. Tony all the way down there in New Zealand. These are people that now I, I call them by name and I feel good. And I tell my family, hey, I got friends in New Zealand. I got friends in Italy. I, an Italian friend. I got friends in Canada. I got friends all over. And it makes me happy. It just does. It it makes me smile. It gives me joy. So if I have joy, you have joy because I'm going to transmit it. Last week, I didn't have any joy. I was sick. I couldn't breathe. I was sad. Yeah, I had, I had all the feels. Last Tuesday, I had all the feels. Today, mm, I had a little bit of things in the morning. I'm not going to talk about, but I'm good now. You know, I did what I had to do. I'm good. I'm good. I've been doing stuff all day, trying to get stuff done, trying to get myself a little bit organized again. But that's the fun part. Coming into my quilt room, my studio, 
my sanctuary coming in here and playing with fabric makes me happy. I've got, I don't want to sew. So today I didn't want to sew anything. So I did other things because that's what I do. Again, I don't live on a schedule. I do what I want, when I want and how I want. Because I am not going to come on here and today we are going to do this. Every time I've tried to do that, it sinks. So no, I come on, I show you what I'm doing. If I have something done, I will show you what I've done. If I have something done, I'll show you some new notions. If I have any or new little things that I want to show you. That's and just talk and chat and smile and make you giggle when I can. But look, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Watch. Watch, 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 watch. I got to move the camera. Watch, 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 watch. Okay. Now, you see the top part, right? Okay. Now, I'm going to tilt the camera if I can't. And it's not going to let me. Of course not, because that would be too easy. There we go. Look how pretty. Now, is it folded the pretty way that everybody does? Nope. But can you see the difference in color schemes? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You got browns over there and beiges. You got blues. You got whites. You got greens. And you got reds. That makes me happy. And then at the top, look, more greens and some fat, little fat quarters in the baskets. And then, wait, 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 wait. There's more. Hold on. Because I'm not turning that around. Look. These are nice and folded. Now I have to put them in colorways, but they're folded differently. Then I've got, wait a minute. Those in the back, they're folded differently. And then stuff in the baskets. <laughs> you know, funny thing is, looking through everything, I found something. Hold on, look at this. I don't know why they were there, but I found this little stash. These are eight and a half inch squares. I got these when fabric.com was still alive. They would sell you a pack really cheap. And there's an assortment in here. I've got cats. I've got, uh, uh, let me show you, cats and flowers and pine. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's something weird in here. Yeah, envelopes. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And I got some, oh, Lord Jesus, hold on. Some batiks. That's pretty, though. I love that one. Yeah, I found all this. I really... <laughs> the pine makes me laugh. Uh, but again, I got some I got some fish. Look at this. What am I going to do with that fabric? I have no clue. Uh, wait a minute. There was something else I wanted to show you in here. It's really weird. I got Christmas fabric, but that that's special. That goes off to the side. Look at that beautiful purple and blue. That's gorgeous. But I only have an 8-inch square. So, yeah, this is going to go in a scrap quilt. Of course it is. It's going to go in a scrappy. But I forgot I had this. And I have a big stack of 10-inch. Um, most of them are from Boundless. Y'all remember Craftsy? Craftsy had really beautiful, uh, excuse me, really beautiful fabric. Uh, the fabric line was called Boundless. I love that fabric line. There were some in there that I didn't like, but they had something that looked like a batik, but wasn't. I made a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of it when it was, when Craftsy was going out of business. And then I found Green Fairy. I'll find the link and put it in the description. Green Fairy Quilts, I think they are. They're a Facebook store. They had a lot of Boundless, a lot of Boundless. And I bought a lot from her when I was able to. So I had that stash. But I made a lot of quilts. I mean, my daughter's quilt out of that fabric. But this is going into the box because I have my boxes under my table. They're very well organized. That's the only thing that's well organized in this thing. That's the only thing I have very well organized. But I went out the other day to get my son-in-law. And I was telling you guys the other day. And I was able to find some really, really pretty fabric. Never before have I found fabric at that thrift store. Ever. Ever. And he was working volunteer. He was doing a volunteer stint there. And he told me, hey, you got to come over. When you come over, get out the car so you can go in. Because we put up a line of fabric. And he was showing me. He was all excited. 
but there was apparel fabric, what I don't touch anymore. And then there was some cottons. And oh, I got to show you that one because that's a gorgeous. It's three yards that I found for two bucks. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Three yards. It's like a dirty pink. Then I got this, which I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do something with it. Then I got this beautiful green fabric, which matches that peachy one, that pink one. It's got the same color there inside the flowers. And this is going to be binding because, you know, me and my stripes. But again, it matches the other one. And I got this. All of that cost me seven bucks. So it was a great find, which very rarely happens, but it's getting there. Because, you know, I don't know about you guys. Yeah, see, I found the fabric. I was looking for another one. Um, since COVID, I don't like to go out much. I mean, I'll go shopping with my daughter. I visit my family. But that's about it. I I just I don't know. I don't I don't want to go anywhere. I I don't feel the need to be anywhere. I've always been a homebody, but it's gotten really bad since COVID. Really really bad since COVID. I don't know why. Um, it's like my daughter and her husband are planning a trip to Puerto Rico pretty soon. I don't want to go. I don't. I don't want to go. I would love to go back and in my head, yes, I would love to go back and eat because I love my Puerto Rican food. But I don't want to go back. I don't want to get on a plane. Let's put it this way. I don't want to get on a plane. If I could go to Puerto Rico driving, I would. I would drive to Puerto Rico. Yes, that I would do. On a plane, see, remember people, I used to work in an airline. I know how they clean planes. I know what they do with suitcases. Yeah. I'm the one that used to investigate the ones that would mess up. So yeah, no, I just, I like, I like being home now. They go out sometimes, they go, come on, my new. But you got new. Nope. I don't want to go anywhere. I really don't. I just leave me be. I'm happy here. It's I think it's this room having 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 the space to be as creative or as uncreative as I want to be, but a, a space that's mine and only mine. I think that's what it is. I think it gives me that peace that I I've been searching for. I used to live by myself. It's not like that. I mean, before before retirement, I lived alone. I had my own apartment. I moved here all by myself. My kids stayed in Puerto Rico. I moved here. I came back to the States in 2008. I went to Miami. I worked in Miami for three years. Then I left Miami, came up here to Georgia, and I've been here ever since. So it's not like I don't know how to live alone. It's that I don't want to live alone. And it's I don't have to live alone. But again, that part is great, but my kids understand me and they know me that I love my privacy and I love my sanctuary. So they leave me be They, you know, my daughter knows that when I'm working or when I'm thinking of working or when I'm just trying to concentrate, she lets me be. And then I go over there and bother her. But now I don't bother her as much because I got y'all. So now I can come sit here in front of the camera. And I know I'm talking to myself there because I see myself in the camera. It's like, yeah, yeah, there you go. But I know you're listening to me. And even if just one person, even if just one person comes and watches this, I'm happy. Because again, I was not expecting to grow at all. I wasn't expecting to grow to the point where I can use this as a platform and, and, and you know, maybe make a little bit of money. You don't make a lot of money on YouTube. Believe me, unless you're, Mr. Beast. But, uh, you know, it gives me enough to pay for the Zoom. It gives me enough to pay for postage to send stuff off to everybody. And I'm happy with that. I'm good with that. You know, I'm fine. But, you know, if you want to. Yeah, you see the little button? It's like, yeah, just, yeah, hit it. 
right? You got it, right? Just smash it. Thank you. Just smash the like button. You don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. I'm not going to make you subscribe to something you don't want to see. But just so you know, this is for those that don't know me yet. Hi, I'm Debbie. I'm the grandma quilter. And all I do is chat. I just sit here and talk and shoot the breeze and crack a joke and make faces and sometimes yell. If you want to see me be ridiculous, come watch the lives because I go crazy. That's that's all I want to do with my life right now. This This is it. This is good for me. This right now, at this point in my life, this is good. This is good. Talking with y'all. I know that if right now I were to close the channel, 90% of the people that have communicated with me through email, through Facebook, I know they will stay. That's how confident I am in this community. I know that if I were to close it right now, 90% would still talk to me and text me and call me and yes, everything. I know that. I know that in my heart. I know that for a fact. That's the kind of community we have in the quilting world. We're just a bunch of people that love what we do. There's a lot of us that do this for a living. And I wish I had the talent, but I don't want the stress. <laughs> retired and I got rid of all that stress and it made me so happy. Being an HR manager is not easy. You live in constant stress. You live in constant threat. You live in constant apprehension of things that are going to happen. Yeah, I don't want that anymore. I'm, I know. I was thinking of, before coming on here, I was thinking of getting a part-time job, an online part-time job. And I said, no, I don't want to go back to work. I'll go back if I have to. If I have to, I'll do it. It's not that I wouldn't do it if I didn't have to, but do I have to? No. Do I want to? No. I can go back right now and be a substitute teacher. I was, when I first moved here to, to Georgia, I was a substitute teacher until I got my jobs. Uh, and I worked for about two months in the system. I can do that. I don't want to. Not in this political environment. No. No, 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 no. I'm happy at home. See, because what I used to do with everything that's going on right now, yeah, I would be having so much fun. So much fun. But I'm happy at home, and I'll stay at home as long as God wills it. I'll stay home and do what I got to do here. But in the meantime, I'm going to continue to fold so you can see what I do, because believe me, it ain't. It's not interesting. Hold on a second. I think I can move this. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. I am going to try something. You know me. I have to try something to make a mess. Because it's not me if I don't make a mess. Mm -hmm. Nope. That's not going to work anyway. All right. I got you, boo. I'll put it down. That I can do without making a mess. See? Ha, 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 ha. See, now you can see me while I fold. But, uh, yeah, I want to get out some more fabric and, and just fold it. Because, see, I'm putting my solids together. I'm not going to touch my solids today. But I want to have my solids separate because, like, I have one, two works in progress, which is the romance and uh, the veteran quilt. Those two are in progress. I'm still piecing. No, the veteran, I'm not piecing. I'm just attaching rows. The the romance, I have to start piecing. But I have to go back and watch your video. I've said it three times. I still haven't done it. But these I just have to quilt. Now I'm getting back into the desire to start maneuvering. Because people, you have to understand, I my conditions, maneuvering quilts and it, it screws up my shoulders, so I have to be ready to do that. But today, I found all this. See, I'm not a Halloween person. I'm just not. But I have a lot of Halloween fabric. So I think that this, and there's like two yards in here, maybe three of this one. Maybe three. And there's this one, which is very pretty. 
it's a, it's a cute Halloweeny fabric. Let me open it so you can see it. See, it's very cute. It's got kittens and everything, not cats, kittens. Then this is what I got from 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 uh, Ruthie. It's beautiful colors. It's a little strip here. Then I got this also from Ruthie Skulls, which, yeah, no, don't work for me. And then I got this. It's got little cauldrons and, and stuff like that. And this is what's left of my nightmare before Christmas. I made a whole menagerie of trees with this fabric. So as I'm searching and, and going through my stash and pulling and putting, I found these and I said, you know what? This would be a cute, cute little bundle for a giveaway in October. So, yeah, it'll probably go in a bundle for a giveaway because I'm not going to use it. I, I just don't do Halloween. I just don't. Um, but it's a nice little bundle. It's got some good fabric in it. It really does. And I still have this little pieces from over there. But, you know, looking through and checking, I want to show you now. The thing that is driving me insane because I just love it so much. I can't even pull it out. My black and white stash. As I've been going through my fabric, I've been pulling out more black fabric and more black fabric. And today I was um, talking with Hetty and I got this idea. I don't design. I'm not a designer, but I have the idea for this quilt and I don't know how to do, I know what I can see it in my head. It's like here, I can see it in half square triangles and the way that I don't want the color scheme, but I want it in black, white, gray and red, but only one spot's going to be red. Everything else is going to be black to gray to white to red. And I'm trying to think in my head how to make it, but I want it scrappy. I don't want it monochromatic. I want it scrappy. So I have fabric in there up the yang, okay? Not joking. I have a lot of black, white, and gray fabric. And I keep finding more and I'm putting it away in my stash. I'm not going to pull it because that's how big it is. So I'm thinking of how I'm going to make that quilt. I'm thinking of a design and I want to make the design. Hedy gave me an, uh, uh, an idea. She told me of a site. I wasn't able to talk to my daughter because she came home sick. So I'm going to leave her alone, let her sleep, get some rest. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can download that app on her phone because it's an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone. And see if it'll work. If not, I found another site free. I saw a pattern that was nice, but I don't know if it's going to let me alter it. It's, it's just the way I have it in my head. I don't think there's a pattern out there. So Donnell's going to sleep. But I'm looking at my, my chats while I'm doing this. Danielle's off to bed, but yeah, I keep looking at it and it's like, okay, what am I going to make with that? What am I going to make with that? What am I, my, uh, I don't know. Because like in my stash, I have my Thanksgiving fabrics, my autumn and fall. The only seasons I truly enjoy, you know, making stuff out of is Thanksgiving and Christmas. I made for my son-in-law a runner. I have two table runners that I made in green. One of them you saw here when I started that I made it from the Miss Quilty fabric. The other one I made last year. And I have a lot of green fabric. But yeah, that's about it. But everything else, everything else is Christmas and Thanksgiving and fall. That's it. Now the colors in between are what I'm looking at. So I'm thinking, okay, I know the quilts I want to make. There is a pattern that I saw that I'm dying to get. I got to go back online. It's just today it wasn't in my head. So I didn't touch it. But I need that pattern because it's a scrap pattern. And with all, <laughs> I have a basket that is completely full of strips. And as I've been cleaning, I've found more and they don't fit. So now I got to find another basket because I don't want totes in here. I need to find another basket and put it to the side on the other side so I can put it in there. And then I found a lot of flannel, but I don't have enough to make a, a baby blanket because what I do with flannel 
is I'll take two pieces of flannel, put them together and bind them. A couple of stitches in the middle so they don't separate and I make a nice warm baby blanket. I've made a lot of them. But like right now, I don't have enough to make one and they're not color coordinated. So I got to see what I'm going to make with them. But I even found, where did I put it? A little fat quarter bundle. This was from, yeah, this is from Walmart, but they're really cute for baby. Now, I don't know any babies here. My babies are all in Puerto Rico. So I don't know. I don't know what to make with this. Either that or I'll, I'll use it as a gift. I'll gift it. I'll do a, a, a giveaway or I'll gift it because none of my family members are going to have babies. And my daughter's friends have all had their babies. So only my nephew and his wife are having a baby, but that's Batman. He is Batman. He is Batman's little boy. So his quilt has to be a Batman quilt. It can't be anything else. And the baby in Puerto Rico is not going to use flannel. So, yeah, I'm thinking, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? But then I have these beautiful, absolutely gorgeous scraps that I've been collecting. Look at this. Look at these colors. Look. Some of these came from Rosie. Some of these came in the scrap bags. Others I've gone collecting as I find them. I love this one. This one is one of my favorite ones. Look at that. I love this fabric. I don't know why. It just, oh, I love daisies too. Uh, yeah. So look at this. Tell me that's not gorgeous. So it's like looking at them. And these two, I can put them in a quilt. But they're, that's all I have. It's like, okay, so I got to sit down now. That's what I've been doing. It's just now I have all of these here. So now I got to put them in colorways so I can see them. When I see them, I'll know what to do. But then, there's more. Should I take it down? Because I have to fold it. I have character fabrics. Lots of different characters. Got Mickey. I got Minnie. I got uh, Mario. I got Paw Patrol. I got Baby Shark. I got Pelicans. I got Wonder Woman. I got Spider-Man. It's like such a diverse <laughs> so I was thinking I don't know what to do with it all but I want to put it in just what that's what I do it's not going to be pretty it doesn't have to be folded precisely that's not me I don't suffer OCD I don't need it to be precisely folded I just need to see him so that when I go like this I can say okay I'm looking for blue then I can go to my blue stack and say okay this looks good my brown stack which I haven't touched because I love it so much I don't want to touch it this is a problem, people. Like, I look at that stash and I say, yes, I want to, I want to, but how? But then, and then my brain goes off. But then look, 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 look. Tell me that is in oil. I put this on my coffee quilt, but I got this fabric and I bought enough because I love it. I made a whole kitchen set out of this fabric. And another coffee that I have over here. Let me show y'all. Because, yeah, I, I, you know me and my coffee. I made some kitchen quilts for some of the girls. Look at that. All of this is coffee. Coffee beans, coffee bean, coffee cups. Me and my coffee. But now I want to make something with it. I got my quilt. I'm happy with my quilt. Believe me. She's all sandwiched up. And then I got kitty cats on the back. And when my granddaughter sees those kitty cats, she's going to want it. I'm going to say, nope. Not happening. But I've got so many beautiful, beautiful, and, and this piece that Ruthie sent me that I have to find what to make. Because look, it's Quilt Girl. Ta -ta -ta -na 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 -na. I need to make something with this. It is, yeah, it's a fat quarter. It's a fat quarter. I need to make something with this. I don't know. I don't want to make something for the kitchen because no, because not for the kitchen. This is for me. Thinking of a mug rug. But I don't know. I just, it's so cute. Maybe a little bag. But I don't use bags. See, that's the thing. I used to have, when I was working, I had shoes and bags. I had briefcases. 
because I, I traveled a lot. So I had to travel. I had to have comfortable shoes and a great briefcase to take my documents with me and my laptop. So yeah, when I was working, yeah, I had my agenda. I had everything. Now I have a crossbody and that's it. I had received the gift of a Michael Kors. It's a beautiful bag. I love it. But since I use a cane, carrying a bag is uncomfortable with a cane. And then if I'm carrying my coffee or if I want to do something. So what I do is I use a crossbody. I have my cane. I don't need to carry anything in my hands, especially when I'm out with the kids. So I can grab each kid on the side because when I have my cane, one of my grandkids holds my hand with my cane and we walk along. So, yeah. I don't, I don't make bags. I don't have cosmetics, so I don't need a cosmetic bag. I don't travel, so I don't need a bag to put scissors and stuff in. So it's like, remember, I, I sew for me. I don't sew for other people. So what, any ideas, leave them in the comments below. What can I make besides a mug rug that I can make using this fabric? Because it's quilt girl. It's quilt girl. I have to make something with this. I don't know what, but I have to make something. Yeah, because I don't make totes. I don't make project bags because I have my I have my trusty totes underneath here. And I have my little shoe boxes that I put everything in with their covers. So I know what's in there. So it's like, okay, what can I make? I made eyeglass cases, but I don't take my glasses off. So why do I want an eyeglass case? And I made a bunch. I sold them too. It's just I keep thinking, what? Tell me. Tell me in the comments below, what should I make with this adorable, I mean, let me show you, Quilt Girl in all her glory. Hold on. Look, look, she has got a rotary cutter. She has a, a, a measuring tape. She has scissors and stuff in her pocket. I mean, she is awesome. She is fantastic. She's fabulous. It's just so fabulous. So give me ideas. Give me ideas. What can I make with a fat quarter from that says quilt girl? Because I need to make something with this. I have to. It's just necessary. It's like this fabric. I need to make something with this. I don't know what. Because this is the fabric. This is a fat quarter. I have a couple of these. I got this is super amazing fabric. This is not paper thin this has a great weave and it cost me a dollar 25 this fat quarter where ask me where ask me dollar tree so when i saw it because i go fishing in dollar tree for fabric when i see good quality ones i grab it so i got a whole bunch of these don't know what to make with it at all they're there they laugh in my face they go ah, ha, 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 ha. you bought us for no reason but I have a bunch, okay, a bunch of these. And then, and then, no, there's just pieces. I have a lot of little pieces all over the place. But again, it's like, okay, I have fabric that has memories for me. I have fabric that doesn't. This came in a stash. I have a yard and a half. Do you know what this is? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what this is. Yeah, I have this. This I'm not going to get rid of because my daughter loves that movie. She absolutely loves that movie. It's Hocus Pocus, people. It's Hocus Pocus. Let me see if it's... It doesn't say. It just says Witchcraft Potions by Disney. But yeah, it's Hocus Pocus. It's not the exact characters. But yeah, it's Hocus Pocus fabric. So, again, if I don't find something to make with this, I will put it in the Halloween bundle. Because, again, it's fabric. Yeah, no. I'm not. See? I'm folding it. Talking to you. Look. Look how pretty now. See how pretty? Look how pretty. Nice and folded. And I can put this over here. And then, of course, when I found this fabric... I bought five yards because <laughs> there was so many things I wanted to do. I still have stuff I have to make and I haven't made yet, but yeah, it's there. I, I have, I have lots and lots of pieces. See, this is Thomas the train fabric. I made a pillow for my grandson with that one. This I bought for my sister. I made her a school apron with this 
she's a teacher so i made her an apron for her stuff with llamas because she loves llamas and cows so that's left over this i made into a dress for my granddaughter and she loved it and then she grew out of it so i gave it away but this is the only piece that's left this is i don't know what this is but it's pretty look at that so i have it here going into the blue site then again owls where did this come from dollar tree good fabric good quality and it goes in the stash it goes over there this i have this <laughs> i got a whole bolt there was eight yards and i still have it up there i only used a little bit a whole bolt of eight yards it cost me two dollars two dollars for eight yards of this fabric and it's cute i i have i have a dog bed no it's a dog jacket cut with this fabric and i never finished it because after i cut it for a client because that i will sell that kind of stuff i sell uh for a client and she didn't want it so it's sitting there and it's laughing in my face but it's a really cute fabric look it's really cute it's good quality not cheapo at all just i don't know what to do with it i just don't i don't know what to do with it see i have more <laughs> see puerto rican fabric all over the place whatever let me put this together see pieced i'm telling you people i gotta fold it leave this to the side because i gotta fold that one then this i have where'd i put it i already stored a stash of this i got more which i have to store i have harry potter fabric there's about two yards in here i made some trees i made some coasters i made a kitchen set i got it real cheap i got three yards it was on sale for 253 yards and i bought it but i have all this left so it's laughing in my face because what am i going to do with this character fabric i never ever 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 seen a harry potter mo movie i've never read the books i don't care criticize me all you want not my cup of tea never watched it never will it's like the avatar never watched it never will so i don't know what i'm gonna do with this it's here it's folded but don't know what i'm gonna do then i have this this is cute tell me this isn't cute this i have it separated because i want to make a kitchen set out of this because it will look adorable but i want to make everything i want to make the oven mitt i want to make um the 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 pot holders i want to make ta um towel toppers and i think i'm gonna have enough to make the the bag to hold the plastic bags in i think i'll have enough to make that hopefully i will if not i'll make a mug rug but it is just so freaking adorable that's why it's there so yeah i i mean i know all of my fabric I played with it so many times. I know what I have. The stuff that came in afterwards, uh, I don't like this one. I love it because it's got words on it. And I love the color because it's brown. But it says, thank you. Have you danced today? Lucky. Be darling. Forever young. Something to be grateful for. I love it because there are affirmations. So I just might combine it. Where did I put you? Ooh, now I got an idea. See, this is why I do this. Because I start playing and I start getting ideas. Where did I put you? Where did I put you? There it is. I wonder if it looks good together. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Now I can make maybe a lap quilt with this. With the affirmations. And the words faith, peace, joy, love, God, happiness. Ooh, see, it looks pretty. Look at that. Yeah, boy. Ooh, see, that's why I do this. This is why I go through my stash. And I go through my stash four or five times a year just to do this, just to know what do I have. And then I got so much fabric. Um, the one that Maritza sent me, which is uh, Mirta, not Maritza. Mirta, the one that Mirta sent me, which was so much. I have that all put away separately because I already have ideas of what to do with that. But I, I do. I have a good stash. I'm happy 
it makes me happy to have this stash because I have ideas. And then what I don't use, I will gift. There is another subscriber that is doing the same thing. She's cleaning her stash. That's where I got the idea from. And she is sending me some information because she wants to send me some so I can gift and, and do giveaways. But she also wants to bless somebody. I have a couple of people already in mind that I know uh, live on tight, tight, tight budgets. So we are hopefully will be gifting to them. I'm waiting for her to get back in touch with me. If everything goes through as planned, these people will be blessed. Because that's, look, I'm 66 years old. I hope to Jesus, Lord Almighty, that I have at least 20 more years to quilt. I'll be happy with 20 more years. That I can get to 86 and still be quilting. Hopefully more, but at least 86. So that's 20 more years. I have fabric. To cover those 20 years. I do. And I know I'm going to get more because, come on, let's not kid ourselves. But it's not, I, I, I'm i not going to use it all. I'm not. So if I, if I can gift, I'll gift. If I can do giveaways, I'll do giveaways. I don't care. It, it doesn't bother me. Like I said, postage comes out of the funds that come out of YouTube. That's what it's for. That's what I'm going to be doing with it as much as I can. So if I can gift as much fabric as I can to people who don't have it, because I have an abundance, I will gift. Now I have enough fabric that I can share. And I'll do it because I love to. And then somebody wants to gift me more. I'm not going to say no. Heck no, I ain't going to say no. Why would I say no? Look, we, we if you're a quilter, you love fabric. It's just that simple. Don't look at it any other way. If you quilt, you love fabric. I was going through my stash to the point where I went through it and there's a whole box. I thought I'd given away all my apparel fabric. Apparently, I haven't. I still have a whole tote full of apparel fabric. Now, there is some fabric in there that I will make something for myself. I'm planning on making just some, some little moo-moos just to have them. Uh, nothing too elaborate. I have some denim that I forgot I had. So I want to make, uh, I'm hoping to make an interesting quilt. If it works out for me to make a rag quilt with that denim. But I have, I have enough. I have enough to make a little lap quilt, hopefully. And I've forgotten I had it. I have twill, which I had totally and completely forgotten I had twill. I have twill in beige and I have black twill. And not a little bit. Because again, this was something that I would buy and I bought it from the place called Fabric Mart. If you make clothing, Fabric Mart online, I will connect the, uh, the, the yeah, my daughter will put it in the, in the description box. It is fantastic. And now you have to become, you don't pay for membership, but you have to sign up because there's so much demand and they they have such amazing beautiful fabric because what they do is they buy the sellouts of designer fabrics and then offer them so much cheaper but like they won't have a full lot so there's one fabric in there i just couldn't part with it i don't know when i'll make it but it's just so freakishly gorgeous that i have it there but maybe one day i'll gift it i don't know if somebody can use it and put it to good use I'll gift it because it's gorgeous fabric, extremely expensive, and it didn't cost hardly anything. I'm telling you, Fabric Mart, that's the name. Then they have this, these two, four, and six dollar a yard offerings. And then before, they used to have a mystery box. I love mystery boxes. So I got a lot of that stuff in mystery boxes and amazing, amazing, amazing fabric. I'm telling you, designer, designer fabric. So. If you like to make clothes, Fabric Mart. They don't have, don't go looking for fabric for children. You're not going to find any of that there. That's not for kids. It's designer clothes. I got to make some stuff because I, you know, I sewed before I became a quilter. I got to make some stuff for work and I made a lot of stuff for my job. I made some pants. I got some, I made some houndstooth pants that came out really cute, but they don't fit me no more. So I gave them away. 
I made some stretchy pants. I made uh, a bunch of stretchy pants. I made a couple of blouses that were loose. One of them came out really crappy, but I gave it away. Um, yeah, I made some things. I made uh, enough, but I wanted to make this beautiful suit that I have the pattern for still to wear to dinners for my job. And then I retired. So where am I going to wear it? So it's there and it looks me in the face. I don't want to, I don't want to let it go though. It's so pretty. I had forgotten I had it. I thought I had given it away when I gave that lady all that fabric and, and no, it's still there. It's still looking at me, but you know, one day I'm going to come and I'm going to say, look, I'm not going to make it. I'll call her again. I'll go, look, if none of you wants it, uh, I'll give it to that lady. So I'll put it this way right now. Anybody looking for apparel, put a comment in the, co in the comments below. Send me your email. We'll talk. Uh, yeah, we, we can talk because I'm not going to part with it that way. It, I, there's money invested there. And it's. I'm telling you, the quality is incredible. I'm not going to sell it for what it's supposed to be sold. Really, really, maybe a dollar or two a yard, but there's yardage in there. Believe me when I say there is yardage in there. But yeah, that's that's me. All I need now, my white fabric is going down, but my batting, I still have a big roll up there. Look, let me show you. You see that beautiful roll up there? There's about two quilts in there, maybe three. Then I have that, which is insole bright, which is for pod holders and stuff like that. So yeah, I bought it because you know, I was making to sell and I got a really good deal on that roll. So I mean, good. I only spent 30 bucks on that roll of insel bread about a year ago, 30 bucks. So yeah, but all I use for batting is 100% cotton. I sometimes use 80, 20, but mostly I use hundred percent and I got a good deal on that. So I've been using it up, but it's already down to there. So yeah, I gotta just take good care of it. And <laughs> Don't want to lose it. I don't. I don't want to spend it. It's like I look at it, and every time I take a piece off, I go, "No." I'm saying. I mean, I've got a little bit of savings put away just for that, just to buy batting, because I want to do a lot of quilts this year. So I have, I have my funds put away for my batting, but it's just like I don't want to part with it. We have a nice relationship. Yes. And then you know that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I've been having fun today, playing with my fabric. I had fun. I have fun, a lot, a lot of fun. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it here, people. It's been, it's been, it's been good. It's been real. It's been real. Um, and from now on, this is what I'm gonna do on Tuesdays. Just chat. If I have something ready, I'll show you. And if I'm playing with my fabric, I'll show you. And if I want to send somebody something, I will. And if I don't want to send somebody something, I won't. And if I want to make you laugh, I will. And if I don't want to make you laugh, I won't. Because that's what I do. That is what I do. So I'm see, I'm looking. Because now I just want to go back and start folding again. And I'll probably stay up until one in the morning folding. Because again, this is what brings me joy. Lots and lots of joy. So this is from me to you. May your quilting journey be joyous. May you enjoy the journey and everything that comes with it. I love you all. God bless. Take care. And don't forget, be imperfect. Bye.